So does anybody else get excited about compost? I know I certainly do. You can call me a bow if you want, but I don't care. Uh, this is the wood chips. It is um, possibly not as composted down as we initially thought. I think it's been so wet, it's very dark because it's been so wet, but it is well on the way, I haven't said that. I was just gonna put that straight into the compost, but it's gonna be too much carbon in there, I think. Um, so, well, we've been down to get a whole pile of seaweed again. Got another couple of backpacks full of seaweed. Had to catch the tide the day before it came in. And then, as as you've seen, I've been over and got these green glass grass clippings. These are my nitrogen source. Green is nitrogen, brown is carbon. If you, it's as simple as that. And you want about equal measures, more or less. So I'm just going to start and layer those up now and get this next year's compost batch well on the way to being started. I'm very happy with that. It's pretty full. What three quarters, two thirds full? And it's quite dense as well. So uh, yeah, I think that should compost down beautifully. There'll be more getting added to that as time goes by. This is the pot that I planted um, two horseradish tubers in last year. I originally planted them out in my border, but lots of people advised me that this was a bad idea because it's apparently pretty invasive so i took them out and put them in this pot i wasn't sure this spring if they were going to come up because they seem to take a long time to show any signs i'm not pulling out the horse radish there by the way that's some dock that's got in there so yeah i'm quite pleased to see them coming up and they're looking healthy um i probably won't harvest any of the tubers this year i'm not really sure how long it takes to get the roots big enough so that you can harvest some but as it was only put in last year i think i'll probably leave them be this year uh, let them get properly established and maybe think about taking some out the year after kenny's up with his chainsaw again today getting some good work done um one thing i've asked him to do for me today is to take out a lot of the little raised beds have got these corner posts, big ones like this and smaller ones. They're absolutely lethal. Can't tell you how many times I've just about took my shin off, bashing myself on them as a potter about. So he's going to take these all off now down to the level of there and that's going to make it much less of a health hazard um, in the coming months. <laughs>
Well, I thought I'd give you a little look in the greenhouse. It's pretty full now. <laughs> so I'll just give you a quick scoot round and I'll show you what I've got going on. Say hello to Sonic. He's lovely. So, as I'm sure all of your greenhouses are as well, it's pretty full of all kinds of different things. And all the way up there as well. I've got a couple of trees of sweet peas here um, that I sowed from Saved Seed last year. I think I'll probably be putting them out shortly uh, to harden off. The tree of lettuces and leeks. I've got these tomatoes here. I'm not too happy with them. So yeah, that's my tomatoes. I sowed them ages ago. Oh, that's not tomatoes, is it? Oh, it is. <laughs> um, yeah, but they're very, very slow. Um, it may be partly to do with the compost that I mucked up on putting them into. Um, but I think it's also because it's just been so chilly. Um, they're really slow. But they're now getting to a stage where I think I'm going to pot them on, take them out of these. Because I've multi-sown here and I've got like oh, quite a lot in each one. About five in those ones. Uh, so I think they'll be alright. I, I did want to them get a really early start because we have such a such a short season uh, but it hasn't really paid off putting them in early because of the chill as i say anyway we'll crack on with them and what else have we got got cornichon cucumbers here for pickling i've got these are aubergines which i've just discovered now I had planted aubergines previously and they didn't come to anything and I kept thinking that I needed to plant more but clearly I'd done it and forgotten about it so that's good news for me. I've got some courgettes in there, cucumbers coming down, I've got rocket and lettuce. This is another poorly sowed tree, some leeks. I think that was me previously sown aubergines there, one tiny little aubergine, I think that's what that is. Uh, yeah, none of them are very successful. These are the trees of um, squash that I chitted in the house. Um, they've been in the trees for about a week now and they're doing well. They were slow to start again, probably because of the cold weather. Um, but they seem to be really settling in now and starting to actually grow. Uh, as you see, how many I've got? Far too many. Absolutely ridiculous, but never mind. <laughs> I sowed a whole bunch of um, flowers last week. I've got all kinds up there. There's nothing happening there yet. I've got Gadisha, I've got Namisha, California poppy. Um, I've got Lavatira, Calendula, sunflowers, all kinds of things. I've got three pots of these New Zealand jams. <clears throat> I didn't intend to grow that many this year. <clears throat> just to have a year where I'm not, you know, where I'm just ticking over with them. So I didn't save many for seed for this year and uh, unfortunately when I went to get them out uh, where I had them stored most of them had just shriveled up and gone to nothing Um I planted the, the ones I had that were decent and nothing's happening yet so I'm a little bit worried that I've lost me little seed stock however I haven't said that I almost always get volunteers at the allotment so if I get if I get some volunteers I'll let them grow instead so yeah nothing happening there with them uh, these two trees at the back are some onwards peas. I usually sow straight into the ground and I have done this year and they're coming up fine but I just sowed these two trees as a just in case and I have got a, a row and a half that haven't germinated for whatever reason so I pop them in there and that's a tree of beetroot that I'm going to interplant with uh, probably my onions when it gets big enough and then up here I have planted the beans, which is one of my favourite things. The beans and the squash are my favourites. I've got a whole pile in there. I've got quite a few different varieties. French beans, I've got Selma, Selma beans. I've got Pongo beans from Bill and Val. Thank you, Bill and Val. I've got uh, lots of runner beans as well. And I've got this one down here and I can't even remember what the dickens is in it. Yeah, these two little trees are some zinnia and my Minnesota midgets, melons from Bill and Val as well. Thank you, Bill and Val. Uh, fingers crossed for those, first time I've grown them. 
And down here on the floor, I've got two buckets of carrots, which have germinated quite well. Happy with them. Um, still deliberating whether I'm going to put them on the roof or not again. I've decided I'm going to take all of the rest of my leeks out today because I've noticed um, that one of them is put a scape up, like a, it's like a garlic scape, so it's the seed head coming up. I'm going to leave, I don't know, two or three in, got some all over there because um, I want to collect some seed, but the rest are going to come out. And this border here is going to be for the beans. Some of these are just tiny. Uh, but not to worry, they still taste nice. That one's even tinier. Look at that, it's like a spring onion. I've also got these leeks here and some behind me and I think I'll leave a couple of the stronger ones in here that one and that one maybe that one I'm just going to leave those and they will get lovely flower heads on I'm sure um, and I want to save the seeds and I, I believe you also get little buds or leaflets or something off the flowers I can't quite remember I've seen it somewhere before so I'm going to have a look for that as well. I've never tried to propagate leeks before from previous plants that I've had in. So that'll be an interesting little thing to do in a couple of months. Pretty good, eh? Very happy with that. I'll have to get home now and start trimming these up and I better look for a recipe or two with leeks in. <laughs> I think it's going to be an awful lot of leek potato soup in my future if I don't. I think actually what I'll probably do is um, just chop them up, freeze them in bags. I've done that before and it works well. Thank you for joining me. Catch you next time. Bye.